everyone, welcome back to Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I'm really excited to continue to learn about the continent of North America. And today we are learning about the islands in the Caribbean. So the Caribbean, if we look here on the globe, we have North America and all the way down here, there are a lot of islands and that make up the Caribbean. Let's go and see what we have to learn today about the Caribbean. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, oh what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me swing. Watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I? I have legs. I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh, what a miracle am I? Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. I'm really excited to learn about the Caribbean with you. And did you know that there are some monkeys that live in the Caribbean? I have a song about a monkey. Would you like to learn it with me? It goes like this. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed down the coconut tree. Down fell a coconut and hit him on his knee. Ouch! Out came a parrot squawking at his pain. So the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. Did you like that song? Would you like to sing it again? Okay, on three. One, two, three. The itsy bitsy monkey climbed down the coconut tree. Down fell a coconut and hit him on his knee. Ouch! Out came a parrot squawking at his pain. So the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. Did you like that song? I enjoyed it as well. Okay, let's see what else we have to learn about monkeys in the Caribbean today. Thanks, Lauren. What a wonderful song about monkeys. I really enjoyed that song and I'd never heard it before. You taught me something new. Well, today I actually have a story for you and I think there are monkeys in our story too. Let's have a look. We do, and it's called, I love you, little monkey. And look, I can see a little monkey and a big monkey. Can you see what's happening with their tails? They're hooked together and they're making a love heart. Let's see what the book's about. Oh, 
beautiful pictures. I love you, little monkey. Little monkey was bored. Big monkey was picking figs for supper. So little monkey had no one to play with. Why don't you do some climbing? Said big monkey. You like climbing. Can you see big monkey is picking some figs out of the tree. Little monkey climbed up to the top of the big tree and he climbed down again. Do, 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 do. Oh. And do, 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 down. He saw a pile of figs on the ground. He picked one up. It was ripe and squashy. He threw it at the trunk of the big tree. Splat! Ooh. Little monkey laughed. He threw another fig and another. <gasps> splat, 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 splat. Ooh. When Big Monkey came back, there were no figs left. Just a squishy mess. <gasps> that was naughty, little monkey, he said. Those figs were for our supper. Now I'll have to go and pick some more. Ooh. Monkey looks a little bit sad. And I think Little Monkey knows that he shouldn't have thrown those figs. I'll help you, said Little Monkey. So Little Mon Monkey helped Big Monkey pick figs for supper. Now will you play with me, said Little Monkey. Not yet, said Big Monkey. First, I've got to make the beds. Why don't you do some swinging and jumping? You like swinging and jumping. Can you see? They're climbing up the tree. And they're trying to get some more figs. Little monkey swung and jumped on the big tree. <gasps> then he saw the bed that big monkey had made for him. It looked lovely and soft and springy. It looked just right for jumping on. <gasps> uh oh, wee! Little monkey jumped. <gasps> He's jumped from the vine onto that big squishy bed. Let's see what happened. Woof! <gasps> he landed right in the middle of the bed and crushed it. <gasps> Big Monkey shook his head and frowned. Hmm. Oh, that was naughty, Little Monkey, he said. Now I'll have to make your bed all over again. I'll help you, said Little Monkey. Little Monkey helped. Big Monkey make his bed again. Now will you play with me, Little Monkey said. Big monkey yawned. Oh. First, I need a little nap, he said. All that extra work has made me tired. Why don't you play up in the big tree for a while? Big monkey lay on his bed. Mm. I think big monkey's a bit tired because little monkey keeps giving him extra work to do. Little monkey played on his own. He ran and sprang and jumped. He laid on his back and wriggled his legs in the air. Do, 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 do. Then he played a game of falling and catching in the big tree. He fell off one branch oh, and caught hold of another. Down and down he dropped until he was just above where Big Monkey was sleeping. Then, what do you think is going to happen? Should we have a look? Whoops! Uh oh! He landed right on top of Big Monkey. Big Monkey was very cross. Mmm, you're naughty little monkey, he shouted. Go up to your bedroom now. Oh dear, 
Big Monkey is not very happy. Little Monkey climbed up to his bed and he started to cry. Oh dear. Big Monkey went up to Little Monkey. You don't love me, Little Monkey sobbed. I do, Little Monkey, said Big Monkey. You know I do. You don't love me when I'm naughty, said Little Monkey. Yes, I do, said Big Monkey. I may not like the naughty things you do sometimes, but I love you always, even when you're naughty. Little Monkey still looked sad. I know. Let's play swing and chase, said Big Monkey. <gasps> Little Monkey smiled. Swing and chase was his favourite game. Oh, there's Big Monkey and Little Monkey. And they're swinging from vine to vine and chasing each other. They look very happy. They played and played until at last they came to a clearing around a large pool. They stopped and had a drink. That was fun, said Little Monkey. Yes, it was, said Big Monkey. Big Monkey took Little Monkey's paw in his own. I'm sorry I did all those naughty things, Big Monkey, said Little Monkey. Big Monkey smiled. I'm sorry I shouted at you, he said. Yes, said Little Monkey. It was naughty to shout at me. Big Monkey gave Little Monkey a great big hug. I love you, Little Monkey, he said. <gasps> Look at them having a nice big cuddle. Climb onto my back, said Big Monkey, and I'll carry you home. Little Monkey climbed onto Big Monkey's back. He put his arm around Big Monkey's neck. I love you too, Big Monkey, he whispered. I love you even when you're naughty. And that's the end of the story. That's a very nice story. And do you know what? Sometimes I think Little Monkey was being a bit cheeky and doing some things that he shouldn't, but it's very nice to see that they apologised to each other and they made up and are all happy now. I really liked that story and I loved exploring the monkeys and seeing how they swung from vine to vine and how the monkey was jumping on his bed. I actually have a song today about monkeys jumping on a bed. Do you know what song I'm thinking of? I think you might. It's five cheeky monkeys jumping on the bed. And look, I found my monkeys. I have one monkey, two monkeys, three monkeys, four monkeys. Oh, can we fit this one? Five monkeys. And I think these are my five cheeky monkeys. If you know the song, you might like to join in with me. Are you ready? Five cheeky monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's count the monkeys. One, two, three, Four. Four cheeky monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. <gasps> Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, we shouldn't jump on beds, should we? Let's count them again. One, two, three. Just three monkeys left. Three cheeky monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Oh! Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. I 
I've just got two monkeys left now. Two cheeky monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Oh! Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One, just one little monkey left. One cheeky monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Oh! Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Those cheeky monkeys, they were jumping on the bed. Just like little monkey jumped on the bed in our story. What a fun song. Maybe you could sing that again at home with your family. We've been doing lots with monkeys, but I think it's time for us to go and see what we're gonna do with Lauren for our experience today. Let's go have a look. Hi everyone. I'm so excited you can join us. That was such a great story, Stacey. I know, wasn't it? And do you know what? I'm so excited to continue to explore the Caribbean with you. So what do we got planned for today? I am very excited to tell you that we are going to be making a fruit juice smoothie <gasps> out of fruits that you find in the Caribbean. Yum, it sounds delicious. I love making fruit smoothies at home. Oh, me too. And this one is going to be so healthy for our bodies. So what we do need is you do need a blender. So you can make this smoothie at home. You need a blender. We have two cups because there's two of us. Yay. And we have some fruit here. So we have a banana. You just need one banana. I have a cup of strawberries. I have a cup of orange juice. And this fruit here that I have here, if you can see it, is called a papaya. So we are going to use half of this papaya. And if you can see inside, there are some black seeds. So we're not going to use those. We're gonna scoop them out. But if you didn't know papaya, if you turn it around, see this part here? Papaya grows on trees. Oh. And so it's like a fruit and then they go up and pick it out of the tree. And so this smoothie is going to be so tasty and yummy and fruity and I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it. Me too and I love bananas and strawberries but I've never had papaya before so I'm very excited to try it in our smoothie. Oh, have you had papaya at home? Oh. You should try it. It is delicious and so good for your body. So would you like to help me make the smoothie, Stacey? I would love to. What can I do first? Okay, so I might get you working on the papaya. Oh. So what I do need you to do is we need to get rid of these black seeds. So you have, I have a, spoon. a spoon. And I did get a bowl just so the seeds don't go everywhere. So what you need to do is you do hold the papaya up like this and I can hold it and we can scoop out oh. the seeds. And they come out quite easily. Almost reminds me a little bit of like a rock melon when they have the seeds in. Yeah, papaya is quite a soft fruit, just like rock melon and watermelon, mm. but it has a very different taste. It's a beautiful colour as well. It is a beautiful colour. I wonder what colour our smoothie will oh, be we because go. we have yellow and we have mm, orange and we have red and then we have orange again. So I wonder what colour it will be. Okay, so what we do need to do is, Stacey, if you don't mind, we do need to cut all the skin off the papaya Perfect. because we don't eat the skin. You only eat the fruit that's on the inside. That's right, we need to be very careful because we do need to use a knife for this one. So you might want to get an adult to help you at home. Oh, that's fantastic. Perfect. So we are going to actually use the whole lot because this is half a papaya. Yeah, okay. And so we're going to cut the skin off all of this papaya and we're going to use all of it. And so once you've finished taking the skin off, you can cut it into slices Perfect. because it is everything's going to go in the blender here um, and it's all going to be smoothied up. Love it. So I might start on the rest of the smoothie. So what you do need is in your blender is we are going to put our banana. So you make sure we've all washed our hands before doing this. That's so make right. sure you wash your hands before cooking. So I'm going to peel the banana. Peel, 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 peel. And I have one banana. I might break my banana in half. And bananas are nice and soft like papayas. Mm. Did you know, Stacy, that papaya and banana grow in the islands of the Caribbean? 
Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, so papaya and bananas and mangoes, they all grow on trees just like this tree here in the islands of the Caribbean because it is tropical, so it is very, very warm there. You are doing such a good job. Thank you. And then, so we got one banana, then we're gonna use one cup of strawberries. So they're just gonna be poured straight in. Ooh, like and I that. can see you've got mm. some frozen strawberries, so that's gonna make our drink nice and cold. It is. You can use fresh strawberries or frozen strawberries. Today we use frozen because I want an icy smoothie. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think I've cut that all up now into squares that, and cubes for you. Thank you. We're gonna go and put this into the blender as well, just like that. Ooh. I'm loving seeing all the colours in there. No, it's very bright. As you can see here in the picture, the fruits of the Caribbean are very brightly coloured. They have mangoes, which are orange, papaya, which is orange. They have bananas, which are yellow, and they have lots of other different fruits. As you can see, there's some pineapple, and they also grow some exotic fruits called soursop Ooh. and dragon fruit and also some custard apples. Oh. So some really, really yummy fruits. Look at our blender, it is all filled up. We only need one more thing, the juice. The orange juice. Do you like orange juice? I love orange juice. I have an orange tree at my house. Oh, so wow. we love picking the oranges off. So I'm a bit like you, Lauren. I'm very curious to see what color this smoothie is gonna be because we've got some yellows and some orange and some reds. It looks so colorful, doesn't it? It does. Okay, we're gonna put the lid on. Always put the lid on. And then we get to turn it on. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see, it's gonna be very noisy. Okay, you ready? I could see it blending round and round and round. So it's turned like a pinky, orangey colour, hasn't it? It is. We'll have a quick check. Got to make sure there's no lumps in our smoothie. Might give it a little bit more. <laughs> and I think we're Fit. done. So I have a cup here for you. Thank you. And a cup here for me. Would you like to try some? I'm very excited to try this. Okay. Because we always be careful. We make lots of smoothies in my house. We sometimes make breakfast smoothies Yum. with milks and bananas and oats, but we have some fruit trees at our house, so we love to make fruit smoothies too. This smells amazing. Would you like to smell? Oh, I can smell the banana and the papaya. Mm, it smells so delicious. Delicious. Okay. Pour, 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 pour. Ooh. One. Two cups. Wow. And so Lauren, is it true that fruits like the banana and the mangoes and I think is it the coconuts, they grow all year in the Caribbean? They do. They grow all year round because the Caribbean, the islands are close to the equator and it is very hot there. Oh. So fruits like coconuts and the papayas and mangoes and bananas. and bananas, they do grow all year round. Oh. So the people who live in the Caribbean islands, they get to eat those yummy fruits all year long. I wish I could eat mangoes all year long. They're my favorite. <sighs> all right, so I have a straw for you. Thank you. We have metal straws to save the environment. Oh. And this looks so delicious. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Cheers. Mmm. That is oh, delicious. That is so good. I can taste the banana. Mm. Ooh, and I can definitely taste the papaya. I've never had papaya before, but you can taste that flavors coming through. Mm. It is delicious. Mm. Well, we're gonna continue enjoying our smoothies, but thank you so much for joining us. You too can create a smoothie at home and maybe yeah. you can try some papaya and banana yeah. and strawberries. Mm. We can't wait to see what smoothie you create. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.